Get ready to witness an intense showdown featuring the formidable firepower of the Italian battleship Sicilia in this high octane, high damage match. The action comes quick and fast with an opening salvo on the Nagato, which is part of a failed division of course, or tier 7 battleship gets pulled into a tier 10 game and instantly gets triple citadeled right at the very start 52k salvo on that poor Nagato and he is already crippled there is a Colbert approaching here at high speed seems to be Moving in a straight line, secondaries are hitting the island and falling short. This Colbert is not manoeuvring whatsoever. A prime candidate for a deletion and our Cecilia duly provides. Colbert deleted back in port. Very short little foray into this match. Des Moines is the next target. Again, another top tier, tier 10 cruiser sailing at full broadside. He is in the base. He still thinks to himself, I'm way back at the back. This is perfectly fine. I'm safe. Salvo away. Boom. 41k plus. And that Des Moines is utterly crippled. Three salvos in, we are already up to 180,000 damage. Three salvos. Just think about this. This is a, an average of 40k per salvo virtually here at the start of the game. Dilia with its smoke screen. Large number. You can see them here. 16 of these 381 millimeter guns. And this is a secondary build. I'll take this into account. Huge number of main artillery battery guns here. Nagato is hugging the border. He's managed to heal up a little bit. Sinia gets radared. Our captain here is deciding to push forward into the base. There are a large number of ships. I literally hiding in behind this island. I have, there is a number of others. Got a Mogami in, in hot pursuit. No targets available at the moment. Our captain keeps pushing forward. Just get detected. Number of ships now detected here. They seem to be advancing up the left flank. Secondary battery, open fire. Secondary battery on the Sicilia is quite impressive. Firing semi armor piercing shells. Generatore di fumo avviato. Activates a smoke screen, pushes forward looking for that next victim. There is a Chapayev literally parked in behind this corner. Look at this. Playing in fear. Guaranteed to bring a quick end. There is no escape for this Chapayev. He's got nowhere to go. He has torped. Island. Ogami seems blissfully unaware. Here we go. Double Citadel dev strike on the Chapayev. Was just waiting to be deleted. Ogami did take his torpedoes though. Ogami dies. 154k damage. And the death strikes start racking up. Pushes into the base. This is to try and draw attention and get ships to actually come back to him. Oh, potential Nagato kill is taken. And the Tago B, beautiful ship, the Tago, fighting there in the spawn. 
that seem to be turning away ever so slightly. This difficult, a difficult shot when an, an Atago is maneuvering like this. Very mobile, very nimble, maneuverable ships. Atago. He slightly turns out he's able to mitigate a lot of that damage. Suddenly, a huge number, a cross torp configuration. Both Sicilias take multiple torps here. Booster Yuckland is in the spawn. That's away on the Atago again. Better. It's one Citadel, five overpens. Our captain is already up to 179,000 in damage. And doesn't seem, doesn't seem interested in stopping. Go is now, he's quit maneuvering. He is now showing literally full broadside. That spells virtually the end of the Atago. Another Citadel hit, up to 195,000 damage. Still quite a number of ships here. That looks to finish off the Atago. More Torps incoming. Again, 16 of these shells out. Not going to take much. All it takes is one. One penetration is enough to take down the Atago. And kill number three. Coming in. Can he avoid them? I'm going to take this one in the stern. Most of the stern. Pops his smoke. Just take another fire. Pops his repair party. Or his damage con, I mean to say. Ohio is approaching on the opposite side of the island. Both sides' fleets have seemed to reverse positions. Now sailing out of the enemy spawn, back towards the friendly spawn where the Ohio is coming from. I know a raidering here in front. Surely this Ohio is not going to come full broadside around this corner. It's very hard to predict. What players are going to do in World of Warships these days? You can look and see situations and think, this is never going to happen. And yet, it happens. Secondary battery are firing here. Ohio is indeed sailing full broadside around this corner. As the front guns away. Gets the high caliber achievement. Does take a pretty heavy hit from Ohio. Doesn't get any citadels. He finally turned out a little bit. Confederate achievement. Secondary batteries are opening up. Ohio is not long for this world. Down goes the Ohio. Kill number four. 230,000 damage. In a very short period of time. Flatty Vostok is virtually in the friendly base. Gets a decent hit on the Sicilia. He's angling out. This is going to mitigate a lot of damage. Virtually no damage. Flatty is quite tanky at that range, especially when angled like this. 232k. In literally a few minutes, those opening salvos at the start really set the tone. Beginning to make a turn, is he going to show broadside? Green team is capping the friendly or the opposite base. Is a cruiser in the cap? Maddy is making a broadside turn, shots away. This could be a fatal mistake. Broadside turn continues. And gets deleted. And there is the Kraken unleashed. 
And the targets keep coming. A Marco Polo comes yoloing around the corner. Secondary batteries open up. Compono has guns on the other Cecilia still. The and yes, another kill for the Cecilia. Fires point blank range into the turrets and superstructure, and kill number six is secured. Two hundred and sixty-three k damage at this point. County three hundred point lead at the moment. Napoli, yet again, another tier 10 cruiser caught in a broadside. Another gets another double citadel strike. Doesn't get the kill, but Napoli goes down. 293,000 damage at this point. I will remind you, this is a secondary build. Cecilia, no less. Just the sheer volume of shells is just insane. Sherman appears. Our captain has already loaded by explosive. Another destroyer down. Seven kills. 298,000 damage in literally a couple of minutes. Here's the result screens. I hope you all enjoyed this devastating show of artillery power from the Sicilia.